First, we need to cook our ramen noodles or instant noodles. So we just put it in a pot of clean water and allowed it to boil until it was cooked. And you don't want it to be overcooked because it is going to be heated up again to be used as our pizza base. Next, we just strained the noodles to make sure all the water was out. Okay, then we added an egg. We added oil to a hot frying pan and poured in the noodles and we flattened it out with a fork. Next, we flipped it over using a spatula and it created the perfect pizza base. Next, we added our tomato puree and spread it out with a spoon. And by the way guys, I'm saying we because my sister's actually doing this and yeah, okay. <laughs> So next we added cheese and I used mozzarella and mild cheddar cheese. Then I added the toppings and I chose two toppings which was sweet corn and chicken. And after that I put it in the grill for 5 minutes. Now it looks really good when it came out, but does it taste as good as it looks? Let's find out. So now we're going to try the ramen pizza that we made and it has chicken and sweet corn on it. It tastes very different to actual pizza. I don't really like the ramen base and how I have to use like egg because I don't think it really goes with like the whole pizza thing. The toppings are really good. The cheese is really good. The sauce is okay. I think next time I would have used a better sauce, but I don't like the base because like, I don't like the idea of mixing um, noodles with pizza. So overall, the taste out of 10, I'll give it like a five because the toppings and the cheese were good, but I don't like the base. And it does keep its shape because of the egg, but it's not like I wouldn't compare it like it's not as good as an actual pizza. My mama don't like you and she likes everyone. And I never lied to admit that I was wrong And I've been so caught up in my job Didn't see what